Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews, where I review everything under the sun for us big boys and girls, every wine, liquor, liqueur, beer, and even my fam world famous Sunday morning coffee today, an Italian white wine. Do not fear it, it's Pinot Grigio. Conte Fini, Val d'Adige. Now, here's the good news. It's 12, this ain't the good news. But it's 12.5% um, ABV. It's from Northern Italy. 12.99. Let's look at it. What is this Pinot Grigio you speak of? Pinot Gris. Same uh, grape, but that's how the French pronounce it. So, see Pinot Grigio, Pinot Gris, same thing. A crisp, dry wine from Northern Italy. Uh, it is fresh and fruity with a flowery bouquet. Okay. It, um, a perfect accompaniment to light dishes or uh, by itself as an excellent aperitif. Okay, now, Pinot Grigio is very almost a neutral wine. It's, the, fl the flavor is very delicate. Okay. Um, light salads what it goes well with, or just sipping by itself on a hot day, or as an aperitif before dinner, glass before dinner. It doesn't hold up the big food, okay? It's very light wine, light, light. All right, now what does this say? This was actually found at this winery in 1497, hmm. by two noble Venetian families. Pretty cool, it's 100% um, Pinot Grigio. And that's all we need to know about that. All right. We'll just check out the color real quick. There it is. Very light yellow, pale yellow. Right. Let's see what we got. It's got the smell of fruit like apple, pear, a little peach. It is a bit floral. But as, and then you can smell all that, or you'll smell some combination of that, probably. But the, uh, but it is a light, it is light, it's not overwhelming, it's not got a giant bouquet, it's got a delicate bouquet, a soft bouquet. But a bouquet nonetheless. I prefer this one as an aperitif by itself on a hot day, chill down, pretty cool. Let it warm up in the glass and develop the flavors. Chill down, it's really not gonna have a lot of flavor, but it is refreshing. It's got nice medium acid. Um, you know, the pear, the apple, the peach type, maybe some melon you might get out of it. You might get some lemon, lime, maybe. Everybody's gonna be a little different towards the type of fruits I'm thinking, okay? I wouldn't think if somebody said lychee or uh, lychee or um, pineapple. I'm not getting all those. But these are things that people generally can pick out of this wine. But it's subtle. Okay, it's very subtle. Uh, so food will kill it. Um, as far as you won't get much flavor out of it. But you can wash down hot dogs and stuff like that. But, um, anywhere you drink soda, I would certainly drink this instead. But as far as enjoying it and, and, and matching it, ooh, uh, salads. I'm just, that's what I'm thinking. Light salads. Um, Maybe some light seafood, not a heavy oily fish. You know, a light fish or some mussels or clams or something like that. I could see crab. You know, use your imagination. Try it with everything, though. If you drink soda with your food now, you can drink this. Um, but that's it. You want a starter wine? Not sweet, but not overpowering, not overwhelming. Okay? Just a nice light sipper with subtle flavors. This might be one to start out with. See what you think of the Pinot Grigio. Now there's different styles. Now I'm not the biggest fan in the world of this wine because this wine to me is just a little too light and just I like bigger, bolder flavors. Don't mean that's for everybody. This is one of the best selling wines in the world. I have a bunch of them downstairs. And I'm gonna tell you why I just said I don't really care for them. Because I'm gonna find one I like that I really think is good. Um, this is actually made with a, uh, this grape is actually red. Right? But um, juice obviously is clear. Um, we're going to search, and I'm going to find one that I think is fantastic. I think it's okay. Drink it all day long for what it is, for what I explained. Uh, you know, I got, what did I say? It was $12.99. There's some other whites I'd buy. 
um, the Fiano, great, and a few others. But we'll keep looking, all right? We're going to find one that's perfect. But if you like this one because this is a good seller, or you like this grape as a whole, then good. That's fine. It's a piece of hell, like I said. Piece of heck out of drinking soda, right? <laughs> um, still fine wine, you know. And it did hits the style. I mean, this isn't wrong on the style. I just, I just want a little more. So I got a bunch of them downstairs. I really do. I'll go through every one in the damn world before. But we're going to find one that's outstanding. That I can really say I like. That I can put my name to. Until then, my friends. Let me know what you think of this. $12.99. Great aperitif. Salad. Sip it on a hot day. Hell, sip it on a cold day. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody. I will see you all on the next one. Yeah.